Minnesota 98 here with uh, a little overview of my Watchmen collection. One of my the my my favorite graphic novel of all time. And later on in this little overview, I will talk about the director's cut of Watchmen. Uh, it's a very nice uh, director's cut, but I'll get into that later in the review. So let's have a look at the figures. I have the. DC Direct Comedian, I mean the DC Direct Manhattan, the DC Direct Comedian, and the DC Direct Rorschach. And I have some of the 6 inch figures, or 8 inch or 7 inch. And the I have the Director's Cut and the Motion Comics. So I will start with the 13 inch DC Direct figures. Um, they are awesome, the sculpts are brilliant. Um, the clothing and the costumes, such as Comedian, is fantastic. But I will start with my dad's favorite character, the, probably the hero, I guess, in the movie, good old Rorschach. The figure is awesome. The Rorschach ink blots are amazing. Uh, the hat is nice. The trench coat even has the, I might not be able to see that, but that's a, actually a scarf. That is not the mask or, as Rorschach would like to describe it, his face! <laughs> and uh, he has the boots that he wears in the film, the purple pants. I'm not going to show it, but he even has the purple suit that goes with the purple pants under this. But he did not wear it in the movie, or it just wasn't shown, probably did wear it. But he did wear it in the comic book when he visited uh, Moloch, Edward William Jacoby, I think. Yeah, that's his real name, Moloch. Anyway, back to Rorschach. <laughs> he has the hat is removable. So very nice detail. It's not. It's kind of a hard rubber, hard plastic, however you want to describe it. But it's very nicely detailed. The it, it is cloth, and I was surprised. And this is my favorite feature. I was surprised that the mask actually did come off, and a fantastic sculpt of Jackie Earl Haley. I mean, that in itself is awesome. Great actor, by the way. He's also in a new movie by Martin Scorsese's Shutter Island. I can't wait for that. I'm so into mysteries. Um, back to Rorschach! <laughs> Again, the mask is well detailed. It's nice, nice material. And then a different cloth on the ink blot areas. I'm just going to put that right down there. And, well, the figure is awesome. Great articulation um, and everything. The head is a bit stiff, but, I mean, I don't really play with these. This is more of a collector's piece. Um, also, he does come with extra hands. Comes with the grapple gun. He comes with a uh, lighter. He comes with the uh, vide hairspray when Moloch gets shot, spoilers, spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie uh, and read the book, haven't read the book, when, he sh when Moloch gets shot, he has the uh, hairspray and he fights the cops. It's an awesome scene, awesome. But uh, Rorschach, I really love this figure. Uh, I give him a perfect five out of five. The comedian, my favorite character in the film, He's just my favorite character. His sculpt is brilliant. Well, it's good, but it's not fantastic. Uh, I do not think it looks like the actor who played uh, the, com uh, the comedian, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I do not think it really looks like him. Uh, okay, note, uh, I made him these dog tags. It does not, he, he does not come with dog tags. Also, when you get the cigar, it's going to look different. It, it does not come this way. I know in the box it looks like it does, but when you get the actual figure, it looks like he's sucking on a lollipop. Uh-huh, yeah. And he's got a mustache that's very well detailed. Uh, he's even got the scar, and the mask does come off. It just sticks in there. It's very well kept. Nice mask. The sculpt, again, is not great, but again, oh, he also comes with guns that has a smiley face. I don't know if I can get this out, but I don't, 
I don't think I can get it out, but the... I can't get it out, sorry, but he does have clips that are removable, and the detail is great on the clips. Let me just put the mask back on his face. There we go. He also comes with a knife. Oh, and the shotgun does not come with him. Uh, I just made that for him. Just part of my display again, just so he would look more movie accurate. Uh, my least favorite character, last but not least, Manhattan, many people's favorite character. The clothes are fantastic. I really think the clothes are fantastic, but it's, I don't know, it's not my favorite character. Oh, you can uh, take off the clothes and have him butt naked. I'm just kidding. But you can have make him like that, like in the picture in the ba box, the packaging. Yeah, so he's very awesome. They all come with the display stands with their own symbols, like Comedian comes with his symbol. I guess that's a smiley face. He also, Rorschach comes with da, 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 his symbol. And Manhattan comes with his symbol. Okay, so I'm going to get into the six-inch figures. I even have the variant of Rorschach without the mask. Again, great head sculpt. The articulation on Rorschach... The Rorschachs aren't that great, but uh, DC Direct is more of the dear to the collectors. But you, I, I still think if you want to relive the movie, get these figures, um, these six cents. They're amazing. I have the Rorschach, both variants again. I have the Ozymandias. I have the Doctor Manhattan, uh, Night Owl Two, Silk so Spectre Two, uh, the comedian with a mask and cigar, and the variant comedian. The only ones I lack is um, Night Owl, the classic Night Owl, Hollis Mason, and Sally Jupiter, uh, Silk Spectre 1, I guess you could say, or Silk Spectre Classic. So these figures are all great, great detail, as we can see the smiley face even, compared to that smiley face. Great detail again. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the film. The Director's Cut Edition. It's a very, very nice uh, movie. Uh, it's a great movie, actually. Um, one thing that I do... Uh, the first one that came out was okay, but it was missing a lot, and they kind of... Uh, they really remastered it with this version. They really... They really nailed it with the director's cut. Uh, still some scenes missing, though, like the comedian's last scene at the party in the book. Um, I still wish they could have put that in, but it's a minor problem. Zack Snyder is a great director, the director of 300. He's, he's really a great director. So I suggest you get the director's cut if you're a fan of Watchmen, especially on Blu-ray. I also have this, the Motion Comics. This is pretty cool. Uh, you can get this for about maybe 19 bucks now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, da -da -da. Watchmen. Uh, it's got a nice smiley face logo. It's the comic books, but they're acting it out. I, well, I don't really know how to explain it. But there's really voices, and they, they're, they're really moving, and it's, 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 it's real great. I suggest you check this out. Uh, they might have some of it on YouTube, I'm not sure, but maybe you should type in Motion Comics. I'm not sure, though, so don't blame me. Uh, that's about it. I recommend all of these figures um, if you're a fan of Watchmen. Uh, but it, they're all great. I re definitely recommend them. Uh, great sculpts. Um, just, just great. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little over overview of these dudes. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, oh, and thanks, oh, Mr. Joker, again. Uh, I'll give a shout-out once again to him. Thank you so much for subscribing. Four subscribes! Woohoo! So until then, guys, I will probably review the Harvey Dent next, but I broke that promise already because I've been reviewing all these stuff. But I will review Harvey Dent. So, until then, guys, G Soto 98 here, signing off. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.